Election night 2023. The votes are being tallied as cities and towns choose their next leaders. I think we need to exercise our right to vote. Tonight, we have team coverage on the big victories. And so many of you have shared with me your hopes and dreams for the city. We did it! Yeah. And the races that are clouded in controversy. We are your election authority. First up right now, we start tonight with campaign 2023 on this big election night. Some big races being decided all across the state, and we have it all covered. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Sinney. And hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. We have team coverage at 11 with Eyewitness News crews covering the top races for mayor, including in Hartford, Waterbury, and New Haven. And one of the biggest and most controversial races was in Bridgeport. But tonight, Mayor Joe Ganim's future is uncertain, with his challenger optimistic about the outcome. We we begin our coverage in Bridgeport with chief political reporter Susan Raff. She is at John Gomes's headquarters. Susan. Good evening. It is very important to point out that this race has not been called. The official results are not in yet. In fact, the registrar of voters said earlier that this could be a long night counting these votes. But independent candidate John Gomes is very I would say he's feeling pretty good about this evening, and he's here live with us. You had said earlier tonight that you were cautiously optimistic. Yes, that's a term that I used during September uh, election as well as tonight. You used a number. You said that you believe you're up by 564 votes. That's not a lot. Right. Uh, based on the tabulations that we had on the polls uh, at the closing, we're up by 564 votes. What happens next? You had mentioned that if you won tonight, there would not be a need for a new primary. But it might be up to the courts to make that decision. Correct. I mean, based on the... Uh, uh, advice from our legal counsel, uh, Attorney Bloss, uh, that is an option, that uh, we withdraw our case on the court and hopefully with the judge rendering a decision or a verdict in our favor to uh, close the case. And for many of our viewers who have seen this video that surfaced of a Ganem supporter stuffing ballots into a drop box, do you think that had any impact on tonight's results or this election? I think so. I think the voters more than ever felt disenfranchised, felt disrespected, obviously feel that their vote was suppressed and their civil rights were violated. And it takes a lot to get them back in the polls. And we did the best we can. Well, we're going to have to wait and see the results, but independent candidate John Gomes, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for the time. So we wait and see and what the results are going to be, but as you heard, John Gomes is optimistic. What will happen next? Will there be a primary? We'll just have to wait and see. For now, we are live in Bridgeport. Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. A lot more to come.